And how much is this offense enjoying themselves right now? Uh, I, th I think Big G's enjoying himself. He's having, you know, a, a special series so far. Um, you know, but we're just trying, you know, this, our pitching staff has been carrying us, you know, early on in the year, and we're just trying to pick up the slack a little bit and, and just help them out and, you know, give them some early runs. What's it like to see, to watch John Carlo when he's, when he's locked in like this? Uh, you just, you just sit back and stay out of his way. You know, he's, uh, like, like I said yesterday, man, he's, he's a, he's a guy that, he can take over a game, take over a series, and uh, he's, he's just a game changer to have that. You know, in the middle of your lineup, doesn't matter if this guy's on, nobody on. Um, he goes out there and does, does his job. You've been going on. You've been on quite a tear yourself. What do you attribute your consistency to this season? Just the guys around me. You know, that's where it starts for me is having you know, you know, great guys sitting in front of me, always getting on base. Guys behind me that are. Um, you know, give me good pitches to hit, you know, because I don't want to have Rizzo up there with, you know, guys on base. I don't want to have Donaldson up there with, you know, guys on base, Big G especially. So um, for me, it's just, you know, the team team I'm surrounded around. We talked a few days ago about uh, last year constantly trying to make up for the slow start and digging yourself out of a hole. What you guys have done the first 32 games here, what what has that set you up for for the rest of the season? It sets us up to stay consistent. Um, you know, not really try to do too much, just continue to play our game because when we play our game, it's, you know, it's not like nights like tonight. You know, our pitching staff goes out there, does their thing. Offense continues to have great at bats all the way to the, you know, to the ninth inning, you know. So um, just helps us stay consistent and you know, not try to put too much pressure on anybody. Aaron, uh, the tear that Giancarlo is on right now of the 10 home runs in 30 games, is he hasn't done this in 16 and 17. What do you remember of seeing him from afar in that 17 year, that MVP year when he had those, those 59 home runs? And what is it like to watch it now from so up close? Oh, it was especially, you know, I think about, you know, the second half of 17 for him and how it was like, I turn on, you know, MLB Network and every other, every other day I feel like he was getting another homer, two run homer, three run homer, two for three, you know, two walks and uh, you just couldn't throw him anything. It was like, I'd see up there as a curveball, fastball, change up, pitch off the plate, pitch up and in, it, it really didn't matter. And that's kind of how I feel right, right now, you know, it doesn't matter where the pitch is, if it's over the plate, you know, he's going to put a good swing on it. So it's, uh, you know. Like having that behind me for sure. Aaron, the uh, ball in the first inning, was that when you felt you should have had? Oh, yeah, anything that I can get my glove on, I feel like I should have. Before you get a little concerned about uh, JD and Anderson over there at third? Uh, not at all, but you just gotta you gotta protect your you gotta protect your teammates, protect your players. You know, JD's trying to make a baseball play right there. You know, thought he could, you know, get him off with a good throw and you know, words are exchanged, but um, I nah, had nothing to that, nothing to that.